Illini currently in a tie for first place in the Big Ten. It's been years since they've been able to say that, but that all could change tomorrow. WCI3's Marley Weirda joins us now live in Ann Arbor, Michigan, ahead of that game against the Wolverines. Marley. Yeah, Brett, if the Illini want to keep their parking spot at the top of the Big Ten, they need to beat the Wolverines here in Ann Arbor. But getting a road win against Michigan hasn't happened since 2010. The Illini only have two wins at the Chrysler Center, dating all the way back to 2005. But the history of the series isn't shaking the Illini this season, especially since they now have the longest active streak in the conference, winning five games in a row. And they're tied for the number one spot in the Big Ten and can take sole position possession with a win over Michigan and they're hoping to stay on top and go for six straight wins. Um, we always want to be the best at everything we do so being the best in the Big Ten is definitely one of those goals that we try to accomplish. We're still hunting, we're, we're trying to get to the top, there's always more to be done. Uh, what we experienced last year I feel like that helped us a lot to uh, figure out the ways to win on the road and just have that experience and now we're coming up on top on a couple of possessions so that's definitely an experience thing. The Illini beat Michigan earlier this season in Champaign. It was their first win over a ranked opponent this season, and they're now looking for their fourth win on the road. That's something no one in the Big Ten has been able to do. Brett. Molly, the Illini will be without Alan Griffin, suspended for two games by the league for stepping on Sasha Stavanovich at Purdue. You talked with Brad Underwood today after he called it excessive in a statement last night. Yeah, Brett, he said pretty much it was the timing that he was most disappointed with. No one from the league office reached out to him before the announcement of the suspension was announced. So they had been preparing the entire week at practice as if Alan Griffin was going to suit up against the Wolverines and Underwood clearly expressed his frustration with the timeline since the announcement came just two days before the game. And this is a big loss for the Illini as Griffin has already played a very big role in their turnaround this season. Season. I don't agree with 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 the, with the timing of it, uh, so to speak. Um, it's it's one of those things that uh, we'll move forward, and, and we, have a, we always have setbacks during the year and, and, and a little adversity. It's kind of next man up mentality, and, and uh, we played without him in the Purdue game, and, and we'll have to do that in in, in the next couple. The Illini still managed a big win over the Boilermakers earlier this week, and just like they did against Purdue, they'll have other guys step up in lieu of Alan Griffin's absence. Tip-off is at 11 o'clock Central Time, and I'll have highlights and a report coming tomorrow. But for now, reporting live in Ann Arbor, Marley Weirda, WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Marley, thanks. We'll look forward to that. Illinois baseball gets its...